Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Surviving Mars. This game is currently being given away on the Epic Store for free along with its DLC Space Race. I saw it and I thought let's give it a go. I haven't really played games like this before. I have done myself the favour of playing the tutorial. There are no mods installed or anything like that. It seems like it's a big thing for this game. But uh, for me I'm playing the vanilla experience. Hopefully that doesn't annoy too many people. Right, so, we have to set up the, mis the mission first. We have to pick sponsors and things like that. I could read through all of these, but uh, I already have to a degree and I have an idea of what I want to do. I like Europe. I am English. We are in the European Union for now. <laughs> if you follow British politics, we don't know what we're doing. But uh, when it comes to space exploration, the European Space Agency is up there as my favourite. I think for my commander profile, there are loads of these. They all give you small bonuses and buffs and things. Uh, the oligarch gives you an extra 25% fuel production, psychologist behavioural shaping. I'm going to stick with rocket scientist to get CO2 jet propulsion, unlocks the shuttle hub and long range transportation. I think that may come in handy in the future. My company logo, I'm going to keep it as Europe. Uh, mystery, random, rather not know. Rival colonies, I didn't do a tutorial on this. I think this is part of the DLC that I downloaded after I realized it was free as a DLC on the Epic Store. I think this is Space Race. Don't really know anything about it. We'll find that out together. Uh, so let's, let's next. Okay, so here is our shuttle. This is like your loadout screen. I mean, if you've played anything like Dwarf Fortress, it's what you put into your, your wagon as you set yourself off. So we have an RC Seeker an RC Explorer. We don't have an RC Transport. That seems like it could be a problem. We have two drones, 10 polymers, 15 machine parts, 10 electronics. And these orbital probes will be useful. There's two of those. But I think I am going to lower these down if I can. And how heavy? Oh god, it's 10. I physically don't think I can do that unless... Oh god, this is a terrible idea. We have got prefab buildings, moisture evaporators, fuel refineries, and a sterling generator. All of those are kind of useful. Uh, uh, can I get rid of an orbital pro? No, that's still too heavy. I'd really like to get an RC transport. It's, um... Use it to establish permanent supply routes or gather resources from service deposits. It's like a truck. Well, we need the Seeker. The European Union has a wonderful one that has a sensor tower built into the top of it, which is incredibly useful. Hmm. I need all of these things. Unless I, could, I guess I could get rid of the orbital probes. I mean, the, we could build sensor towers. We're going to have sensor towers. It just means that I'm kind of blind where I land. Let's do that. Let's get... Uh, transport. Wait, RC Commander? Is that just the unupgraded version of the Seeker? Pairs drones. Yeah, it's the same thing, it's just that has a sensor tower on it. That makes sense. Okay, I'm sure somebody is screaming at me that this is a terrible idea, but I'm just... Uh, I'm just I don't know what I'm doing. I can name the shuttle. Uh, should I rename these things? Anyone has any ideas for naming stuff? Let me know. I do. I do like to name things. Uh, let's next. Now we have to pick a landing spot. I'd like somewhere that isn't just going to crush me straight away. That would be nice. Like, look at that meteors, almost full. Topography rough. I'd like somewhere that's kind of flat and not going to kick the crap out of me. That'd be nice. Mean temperature minus seventy-two. Cold waves. Bloody hell. Uh, Crimea Alpha. Lots of water, not a lot of metals, lots of concrete, kind of mediocre in every other sense. Uh, that's a lot of water. Quite a lot of dust storms, dust devils. What's a dust devil? Is that a, like a tornado on Mars? I mean, let's. I'm kind of worried that it's 300%. Ooh, these look kind of nice. Relatively flat, steep, relatively flat. Let's let's try here. Let's, more meteors and dust devils. Ah, 
I'm sure it'll be fine. We're just going to make this up as we go along. Hopefully it designates a uh, landing zone for me that's not horrendous. Otherwise we're in trouble. Welcome to Mars. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remote, remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, oxygen, and power. Our mission sponsor is Europe, and our commander profile is Rocket Scientist. Designate a landing zone, that's not. Uh, have the hints, I mean. We are going to designate a landing zone. Okay, so straight off the bat, we have... We can do sector scan straight away, but... I don't think we can without anybody being here. Who knows? I don't know. This uh, this map is not as flat. It's not as flat as it led me to believe. <laughs> Relatively flat my ass, basically. Uh, okay, so... No active research. Let's see what we have here. Uh, research technologies, blah, blah, blah. We all... Oh, we have... Soil adaptation allows us to build a farm. Magnetic filtering increases oxygen production by 50%. That sounds good. Uh, fuel compression. Cargo space increased by 10,000 kgs. That seems useful considering we're going to be using the rocket as a lifeline back to Earth. Uh, drone swarms. Drone hubs are constructed with an additional two drones and a maximum number of drones increased by 80. Drones and rovers move 20% faster. That could be really useful. Uh, that's an upgrade for extractors. Increases their production by 25%, but also increases their power consumption. Uh, low G turbines, wind turbine upgrades, polymer blades, power production increased by 33%. Hmm, a little bit of a... Oh, and decommission protocol. That's the salvage and destroyed buildings. We don't need to worry about that just yet. A quick one to get anyway. Okay, well, let's leave it for that for now. Well, I'm, here seems like a pretty solid place to land. Oh, there's only 500 concrete here, but that's a good start. That's a good start. Uh, there's a metal deposit right next door to us, so if we get any geologist Martians, they can uh, they can help us mine that. I'd like to get some rare earth deposits, but... I fear there might not be any around here, so we're going to set a scan. Oh, is it actually scanning right now? Do I have to land? Oh, it's paused. Is it scanning? It is scanning! I mean, technically I could just sit here forever, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to land the rocket. <laughs> uh, let's land it here. Uh, right there. Japan has nearly completed a milestone. What? Oh, hello, Japan. Colony of Japan. They're quite close to us, aren't they? The Paradox. They're here. Colony, colony of the Blue Sun Corporation. Oh, man. Is this where I find out that all of these people are, like, a million times better than me? More than likely. I did take half a day to land my uh, rocket. How cool this thing is! Camera controls. I really don't need the tutorial. I just... I've done the tutorial. That's what I spent most of my time doing. Now this is a sensor tower, so in theory, look at that, sensor tower boost, 330%. We should be scanning rapidly, so we should be able to find a nice place to uh, build stuff and do stuff. Obviously, we're kind of held in by the drone control of this right now, because we don't have a drone hub, but we do have this remote drone controller that we can use. But these four little guys right here and they will help us do stuff around here. So first things first, let's unload the rocket. There's not much on it. In fact, I'm kind of worried about how much I didn't bring with me, but I suppose we'll worry about that at a later date. Uh, we can build a universal storage depot. That seems like just a quick way of unloading the rocket. Now, in order for this rocket to get back to Earth, it needs fuel. Turns out coming to Mars from Earth, quite a long way. And it uses all of the fuel that is on the ship. So we can make our own fuel using water. Don't know what space science magic they're using in order to make this work. But we can build our own refinery. Because we built it 
Well, we brought it with us uh, as a prefab. So we brought a moisture vaporizer, produces water from the atmosphere, production lowered when placed near other vaporizers, and it's just not a problem, we've only got one. And we also have a fuel refinery. And a st I think we brought a sterling generator with us as well. Yes, generates power. So we have all we need to refuel the refuel the rocket. I forgot what it was called for a second then. So, first things first. I am going to place down... The biggest building here, I think, is the fuel refinery. I looked straight at it then and just ignored it. Uh, I don't want to build too close to the concrete here because the concrete kicks up dust. So does the taking off of the rocket. So I kind of want to build in this area here, I feel. That is kind of on the edge of our control radius, but let's bring the, this thing back. And we can use its drones to unload the rocket. Uh, yeah, let's build here. Your refinery right here. So as soon as this thing comes back, we can change the speed of the game. I'm not entirely sure if it's like every other game where playing it at the faster settings just causes everything to go horribly wrong very quickly. But we do need metal, so I am kind of tempted to build a metal storage area. Not a universal depot, I pressed the wrong button. Depot or metal, there we go, right here. We do have one for concrete as well, but we don't have concrete set up yet, so... Right, so this requires power. Yes, one of my powers need... one of my buildings needs power, yes I know. So... I build a sterling generator. Pop that... Pop that there. Now oh, we also need a moisturizer thing. <laughs> moisturizer? Vapor! Vapor, that's what we need. Moisture vaporizer. Build that. Build that here-ish. That's still inside the range of the... Yep. And we're going to need pipes and things in order to uh, connect everything together. Okay, so there's the Sterling generator. Build some power cables. Like so and then connect power cables to our lovely buildings. I love the music in this game, by the way. I know it's some of the, I always say it, every game I ever play, they how much I love the music, but the music in this game is wonderful. Like, perfect background music. Uh, da, 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 da. I need pipes. Life support. Pipes. I might build those slightly on the piss. Oh god, that's so annoying to my brain. I really hope they were going to line up properly. Ah, it'll be fine. Damn it. I wonder if that's going to clash. In fact, it actually looks like you can build cables directly underneath pipes. It's like they've designed it that way. That makes my brain happy. Now, sterling generators, you can. Ooh, we found water. Just slow down for a second. Uh, you can increase the sterling generator's power output by 10 if you open it. Which looks badass, by the way. But this increases the chance of the maintenance needing being needed. So for now, we're not going to do that. Uh, let's build a place to store the fuel. Um, should I just build it? Build it in front of the uh, the refinery for now. But that means I don't want fuel in here, and I don't want metal in here either. Ah, we have the RC transport. The whole reason I bought this damn thing was so I could start gathering resources. Now we can set a route. Right, it will load the resources here. Actually, not all. That is relatively close to my fuel depot. Metal. And it will bring it back here. And it will just automate. It will do it on its own. Which is wonderful. Now, how is our scanning going? We found water. Oh, right here. Low-grade water. I mean, can you get low-grade water? Is it just full of chemicals and stuff? That's my assumption that I'm going to go with. 
Next thing we need to set up is a concrete extractor. That will allow us to mine the concrete. What, what is this? Open the build menu. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's really useful. Uh, find water on Mars. It's a milestone. Not any anomalies yet, though. My screen. How, oh, wait, how much power does a concrete extractor require? It requires five. Five power. Now, we can either make wind turbines, the maintenance of which requires machine parts, which is kind of hard to get at this stage. We can import them from Earth. Or solar panels. Well, that base production is five, so that's perfect. One of those and one concrete extractor, That well, that's fine. The small problem is concrete extractor kicks up dust, so we are going to have to put the cables away from it to build the solar panels. Or the dust being kicked up by the concrete is going to cover the solar panels in crap. We don't want to do that. That's significantly problem problematic. So, if, But if I build this right... There. That's going to use two of our machine parts. Now, the cables actually cost things to make. It costs one metal for each five hexes long section. That is a question. I want to build them down here, up here. I think maybe down here. Not that, not that I'm probably not. I'm probably not going to tie it in here-ish to a larger network. This is going to be like a, a solitary thing. Gonna, wherever I build this, I know I'm going to build it in the wrong place. I can feel it. It also means our concrete will only oh, build it too far away, but never mind. It will only work in the daytime. Not a huge problem. Oh god, no, 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 this be a straight line. Ah, oh god, no. Oh god, that's going to annoy me so much. Hmm. Maybe I should have built the cable first. I haven't actually built this yet. Can I just not build it? D delete that. Del delete all of this. Can I just delete yep, the whole thing? Delete, delete, delete. Right. Let's build the cable first. the fact that everything's in diagonals. Makes sense from a gameplay perspective using hexes. I can't be that upset, I suppose. Let's build this. Rotate things, look at that. Uh, here? Perfect. There we go, so now hopefully that will allow us to gain concrete, which we will put in another storage bin right next to the... Where did put right here? Drone heavy load. Yeah, there's a lot of things being done by... Well, we have a lot of things that need doing. We don't have many drones. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. We only have two drones in the... The Ditmar. What a terrible name for a spaceship name there. That's probably like some really iconic spaceship, and I do apologise if it is. Yes, air production, we don't need that just yet. We have no humans. This is slowly refueling. We have one fuel. Yes! <laughs> right now, they're busy getting all the metal out of the uh, concrete zone, I think. Let's speed things up. I keep pressing 1, 2, 3 to increase the speed. That's not how that works. It's, it has no power because they haven't built the power thing yet. And I don't want you working at night because you literally will not be able to because you have no power because there is no batteries connected to you. Sector Oh, hello. What is this? More water? A vista. Improve the comfort of all residences when in the radius of the dome. That could be really cool. Could genuinely be really cool. Keep scanning. Keep scanning, see what we find. Because comfort... 
when you get people here, you have to look after them. You have to make sure they're comfortable. You have to make sure they're not going to die. It's going to be a little bit before I uh, get people on Mars. Uh, yeah, oh, sugar. I should probably build a drone hub. Did I bring one with me? I hope I brought one with me. Uh, infrastructure. No, no, I didn't bring one with me. Oh dear, there's a long shopping list of things that I should probably import from Earth. Ah, look, the concrete's going. Woo! Concrete. We have a single block of concrete. Oh no, we have four blocks of concrete. Waste rock. Extractors use waste, waste rock as a byproduct. Waste rock can be stored in dumping sites or disposed around the extractors. Extractors will temporarily stop working when there are not enough drones to carry the waste rock. Yeah, we need more drones, don't we? Uh, let's just get a, a large dump and stick it right there. <laughs> That's a point. When the rocket takes off... Yeah, I'm going to have to place it so the drones... Uh, that this RC Seeker is my drone hub. That's not the best way of doing things. Uh, sensor towers significantly boost your scanning speed of nearby sectors. They also give you advance warning for disasters. Note the sensor towers require electrical power that must be provided by a power generating building, such as a large solar panel. Yes. It doesn't help that uh, my concrete thing is going to be using my drones, but I suppose my drones aren't really doing anything else. Uh, oh, wait, gathering fuel. Yeah, that's a thing they're doing, isn't it? But look at the bright side, we're at 10 out of 50. As soon as we can send that back, we'll be good. Resources are low. Ooh, hello. Hang on, we found an anomaly. Let's deal with that first. Let's send the RC Explorer over there. The Great Leap. Your attention is required. Our scientific team on Earth has made, just made a daunting discovery. With the downpour of new scientific data from Mars, our team made an unheard breakthrough in the field. A new advanced technology has been revealed in the chosen field. The new technology costs less to research. Ooh, what do we want? Physics? Robotics? Engineering or biotech? I don't know. Physics. I don't actually know what that did. Oh, hello. We just learned nuclear fusion. Wow. That's uh, that's a pretty big leak right there. An out-of-dome building which requires workers to operate. It's like a big battery, basically, I think. Okay, well, that's really cool. Uh, what do we want after this? I think... To improve my... Water purifier, but I don't think that's an option. Yeah, biotech fields deals with food production, life support, and medicine. The engineering field deals with buildings, domes, and improves rocket technology. Uh, robotics field deals with drones, rovers, and shuttles, as well as building autom automation. Uh, the physics field deals with power production, exploration, and disaster safety. And social deals with colonists, traits, Martian society, and funding. I think... We are going to go for farms next, because we're going to need those if we want to feed our people when they come to Mars. The last thing we need is them all starving. Pause the game here. I've actually lost... How the hell did we find that? Is that because, like, a meteorite landed or something? Research <laughs> complete. Fuel compression. That means we can now carry more on the rocket, which is very good considering how much stuff I need. With a few more machine parts and things. Oh, sun's coming up. That means the uh, concrete extractor is going to kick into life, hopefully. There we go. I love these little, the little animations on the solar panels. It's really cool. <laughs> we can use that concrete to build things like the water pump that we're going to need for our domes. I mean, all of this is just getting ready for the domes. I kind of want to build in that vista area. Underground water there is 13,000, 13,000. I haven't really found anything else around the immediate area, but that's because we're waiting on scanning technology, I suppose. And we could build towers, I suppose, but we're kind of at the limit of our generation production, uh, energy production. See, we're produ producing 15 and we're demanding 15. We're kind of perfect right now. 
one of the main goals that we need to work out is where to find rare metals, because rare metals are a thing that we can send for money. Money is good, money lets us buy new things. On Earth. Oh wow, that was quick. God, the anomaly just basically gave me a crap ton of research points. Uh, so we finished soil ad adaptation, we can now build a farm. We don't really need a farm, we don't have a dome. Uh, no active research, let's do that right now. Scan anomaly, also researched. Uh, low G fungi, a new building, a fungal farm. An out dome building that produces food. All fungi are edible, some fungi are only edible once. <laughs> Terry Pratchett. Wonderful man. Uh, low G hydrosynthesis. A new building, the polymer factory. Produces polymers from water and fuel. Ooh, polymers are a thing that we we kind of want to become self-sufficient to a degree. It's not super urgent, but it is a thing that we should be looking at. Uh, let's make it so our drones and rovers go quicker. I mean, Drone Swarm is kind of useful, but we don't actually have a drone hub because I've buggered up somewhere and I haven't brought one with me. That's how I roll. I always forget the most interesting things. Sector scanned. We have an awful lot of metal right now. We, we have collected a lot of metal. We have a hundred. What do we get in the sector? Nothing. Nothing there. Doesn't surprise me. It's a cliff. You never know. Weirder things have happened. Where do our drones go to recharge? I assume they can go to the shuttle or they can go to the rover. This button down here. Radio? Oh. I mean, I'll just leave it where it is for now, but if anyone wants me to change the radio station, let me know. I didn't realize there was more than just this soundtrack. Who knew? How much concrete do we have? We have 19 concrete. We've, we've almost halfway to filling the ship up, I suppose. We're almost, we're almost there. I mean, the main thing is that we have water. I should probably be stockpiling water right now. That's something I'm going to be looking at doing. What do we need to build a water extractor? Two machine parts. We have three. The maintenance worries me slightly because it requires one machine part, if we run out, all the water stops. It's an extractor, so it works like the concrete extractor, so it raises dust, which is problematic. And it's quite a large area, all things considered. But if we build this... Uh, does it extract water from anything inside of the circle? I assume so. Like. The question is, do I want to build it from this one or this one? Both of them are really far away from this vista. I don't actually know. What domes do we have here? Self-sufficient dome. Okay, can say it contains a small dome suitable for the early days of colony, together with water and oxygen producing facilities and storages. Places the following buildings: a small dome, moxie, two moisture vaporizers, water tower, oxygen tank, food deposit, food depot, power cables, and pipes. Completely self-sufficient. How crazy! Or we can just build a normal dome. Oh wow, the uh, too far from working drone commander. Yeah, I know. But the so if I want that within the realm of the vista, that's kind of the closest I can build it. Quite far away from those, but there's no reason a pipe couldn't go from there to there, I suppose. Oh, well, it's not something we actually have to worry about just yet. But I will. Do I want to stockpile water? Is there much point stockpiling water before we're thinking about using colonies? I mean, we could produce more fuel, but the fuel is that we're at maximum fuel production because I can't build another fuel refinery just yet because I don't have the research for it. Hmm. Yeah, it might be a good idea to secure oxygen and water supply. Yeah, let's sell. Okay, let's sell. What do we need for oxygen as well? That's a moxie, right? 
That just costs metal. But you know what? I'll worry about this in the next episode. Even though not much has happened, thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, let me know what you think. Your comments are greatly appreciated. And as always, I'll see you next time.